Hello, it's March 17th, and here's another March of the Writers video for you. I'm Deborah Parmley, and so I've done one, two, three, four of these so far. This will be my fifth. I'm trying to catch up a little bit. The prompt for um, day 11, I wanted to talk about that. It's a, a scam alert. Um, we're going to talk about common scams, new and old. I've been at this for more than a minute, so I'm less likely to get caught up in a scam. However, a couple years ago I did, even though I'm not a brand new author and I thought I was cautious. And it had to do with anthologies. We had an anthology organizer who was a scammer and a bunch of us wrote stories for a charity anthology. And uh, we found out later that she was a scammer. There was never any book produced, not a one. Uh, we, some of us got our money back. I went through my credit card company because they've got the big lawyers. Uh, as far as the books ordered, however, people ordered them on Amazon. That was, they had to go through whatever process and hopefully they got their money back. It's pretty low. Or scammers, they're low anyway, but the thing is, to do a bogus charity and get money and no one ever sees anything from it, that's really low. That We're talking bottom feeders now, you know, and this person, she and her spouse had a record and doing some digging, one of our authors in the group found that and and we had to disassociate ourselves from her and from and explain everybody. It was upsetting and very upsetting to me because of my readers getting scammed. You know, I would like to prevent that if possible in the future. And so because of this, I will no longer do anthologies for charity unless I know the organizer personally. If an author friend of mine decides to do this, I'll get on board. But if they do not, and I don't know the person who's organizing it, my level of trust is just gone. And quite frankly, I would rather write the organization a check or donate a basket for a raffle or something else. But we're not, I'm not going to ask my readers to buy a book if I don't know it's a legitimate book. So that's my tip of the day for scammers. It's be careful about these anthology organizers. It's become very popular for good reason. And vet your people. Know who you're doing business with. And... Um, you're vouching for them when you ask your reader to buy the book and contribute and help the cause. So that's my tip. Uh, happened a couple years ago. It won't happen again. And uh, this is maybe not such a fun uh, video, but it's maybe a necessary one to help other authors. Just one more thing to look out for. So this is March of the Writers. It's the 17th of March. And um, look for more. I'll do some happier ones today besides this one. Uh, capital, um, hashtag capital M, capital O, capital T, capital U, W, 2024, March of the Writers. Wishing you a beautiful day and reminding you that every day is a beautiful day. Even if you've just been scammed, it is still a beautiful day. Remember that. Love you guys.